four, all about the guest and how to exceed the guest expectations. Something that really irks me is when you have guests or family members that are trying to help and give you advice and tell you what they think and what they want, but they've never actually done it themselves before. So really beware of that. Don't engage in an argument. Just say thank you. But in terms of logistics for your guest and how to give them a wonderful experience, I want to go through a few tips and an overview for you. Consider doing welcome bags, especially if you have guests coming in from out of town. Destination weddings are on the rise. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be a bunch of stuff in there. It's more about the thought, the thought that counts as well as communication. So a lot of our clients have a theme and we make all the welcome bags the same. Sometimes we do special things for the wedding party and we put their names on them. But if you are taking your welcome bags to a hotel, they're gonna want them to be all the same. And typically there is a charge for the bellman to pass them out. Or sometimes you can simply ask if the guest reservation specialist, when they're checking people in, that they hand them a bag. Again, some people charge for that. That's something that you can sometimes negotiate out of the contract, especially if you are having a lot of hotel rooms that your guests are going to be taking up for your wedding weekend. So in these welcome bags, what do you put? So consider a map of the city or the town, tours, of course, that the guests can do on their own if they're going to make a family vacation out of it. And again, these are also things that can go on your website. On an itinerary, again, doesn't have to be super fancy. There's a ton of fun, sweet templates out there. But really, it's more about communication. And at the very least, have a little welcome letter on there with the planner's information or a contact for the wedding weekend. So it's not you and your mother or your father. Even if you're a control freak, trust me, you do not want everybody calling and texting you on your wedding day. Trust me. So on the itinerary, you can always put your places to go as a couple, your favorite places to eat, things to do, local treats, and just the schedule of the weekend. If they're invited to a welcome party, again, having a contact person, oftentimes I put my information as well as the lead team member for that weekend. And then there are all types of tours. We do something really fun with impersonators on the buses being from Music City, USA and Nashville, Tennessee. There's all types of impersonators that give these hilarious tours that are just extremely, extremely memorable. And oftentimes we will write scripts for them so that they can incorporate some really fun facts about the couple and the guests actually get to know the bride or the groom or the partner a little bit better before the wedding, which is really fun. And then if your guests are going to be invited to the welcome party, you want to tell them about it. So be really thoughtful in putting all the information together. Now, something to think about ahead of time is hotel room blocks. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. On the transportation side, think about transportation for the guest. So you've got a couple different levels of transportation in terms of logistics, not only for the guest, but for the wedding party. Now, if you want to go to multiple locations, parks, um, downtown to a city, it's best to keep the wedding party together with you. Trust me, you don't want 10 to 12 cars following each other, hopping out to take pictures. It takes a long time. You're more at risk for fender benders because people don't pay attention these days. Trust me, it is worth the budget to set aside if you're going to be going to different locations with the wedding party to take pictures. Want more? Well, you got to visit the link and it's case sensitive. So type the link exactly the way you see it below. It's bit.ly slash capital D-I-Y lowercase wedding planning. So bit.ly slash D-I-Y wedding planning. And I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day.